As you can see, we've managed to get this fuselage together. We've done a little bit of hole drilling on engine plates. Let's run you through the gluing procedure for the fuselage itself. It's very important to build a straight fuselage to make a good flying airplane. With rubber bands around it, we've placed it directly over the overhead view on the plan. We've gotten our head right on top of it here and made certain that the lines along the outside line up. You should be particularly concerned that the tail end of the fuselage lines up with the tail end of the plan. This is a place where people do very frequently get into trouble. With it directly on top and with rubber bands tight in place, we've taken our thin formula instant glue pick stick here, and we've begun flowing the glue down into all the joints. We're holding it together tightly as the glue sets, but this happens very quickly. We'll do another one right here and up here. You'll notice we've added the F2A pieces in this area. We've decided to build the A wing and the F2A parts are added and glued right into place. We're going to flow some more glue into the next joint. Keep in mind you're doing this over the plan. We're tilting the fuselage for, for clarity only. We're going to move back a little and finally get the rest of them. Hopefully on your own you should be able to get this glued together. There's a very short wait for the glue to set. Afterwards, we've gone back with some of our thick formula pick and we filled in on top of a lot of the joints. We've then gone back over with our instant glue accelerator and this product again sets that glue off very quickly and helps to fill the small gaps that are created. So at this point, we've got a pretty sturdy fuselage. Going back to our epoxy mixing instruction which we ran a little earlier, we've mixed up a batch of epoxy and we've added the two engine beams up here in the nose and they're firmly epoxied in now. A nice tight fit and keep in mind you want a good joint there. You're particularly concerned with the fact that these two inside corners fit nicely against F1 and provide a good tight glue joint. You don't want this stuff coming loose up in the air or down on the ground. With that same batch of epoxy, we've glued in the landing gear plate. I prefer epoxy for this. This is a high stress area. It's very easy to mix up a little additional epoxy, get it into place, and get this glued in. We've got our breakaway plates. Let's place them in. Now, we're set up with a drill which we've prepared off stage. We're using a 3 32nd inch bit, and we're going to drill three holes directly down. Again, follow the plan for exact positioning. Got to be a little careful we don't drill right down into the side of the fuselage. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. 